Well, it's also that time of year again. The IRS now accepting and processing income tax returns. Always a time we look forward to, isn't it? Oh, boy. Uh, it's now the second year, though, of President Trump's tax plan. And there are some tweaks we yeah. need to get you up to date on. WAT6 on your side reporter Don Dare sitting down with a tax preparer and examines some of those changes. Yeah, generally speaking, generally, okay. speaking, generally speaking, filling out your taxes is a little bit easier this year if sure. it's Good. ever easy. As part of the Bipartisan Budget Act of 2018, new for this tax season, seniors age 65 and older will have their own tax return option. Last year, taxpayers had six new supplemental schedules that would build on their Form 1040. This year, those schedules have been redesigned and merged into three schedules that will somewhat streamline the filing process. Income tax specialist Mark Kern is already busy preparing individual tax returns at his office and halls. He says there are some changes to note. One thing you'll immediately notice this year, the 1040 form has gotten easier to navigate. You're going to sign your tax form on the second page instead of the first. He says it's better laid out than the 2018 version. It's a simplified form. They sort of went back to... Um, uh, previous era versions. I, I do like what Congress is trying to do in simplifying the tax code. Um, they're basically trying to get away from itemized deductions and, and have the majority of Americans do standard deduction. How much you're going to spend? The IRS has bumped your individual deduction for the 2020 tax year, which could reduce your taxable income. The current standard deduction is $12,400 for singles, up from $12,200 in the prior year, and $24,800 for married joint filers, up from $24,400 in 2019. Another change, there are three numbered schedules for 2019, half as many as there were in 2018. Basically, some were combined to fit on a single page. I see here a 1040 SR. Right, that is uh, a brand new tax form that Congress has come out with. SR stands for senior, um, and if people were born before January 2nd of 1955, they're eligible to file this even more simplified form. Penalties under the Affordable Care Act, they're no longer going to be applied to this latest return? Correct. People do need to know that um, if you have your health insurance through the health place, uh, uh, healthcare marketplace, um, you still have to provide that to your tax professional and they still have to reconcile your premiums um, on the tax return. There are some changes to what you can and cannot deduct from your taxes. If you got divorced after 2018 and pay alimony, you can no longer deduct alimony payments. Ex-spouses who receive alimony are no longer required to claim it as income. Congress recently passed the Extender Bill and Secure Act of 2019. How will that affect people? So um, all the taxpayers had already filed their tax return based off of information that they could not deduct certain expenses. Congress retroactively approved those um, deductions. However, the taxpayer would need to go back and amend their 2018 tax return in order to take advantage of those extenders. Mark expects lots of people will want to file early to get their return as quickly as possible. What you need to remember is take your time for preparation. Make sure you have all your documents and all your ducks in a row, um, but, but the sooner you file, the better, especially for um, earned income credit taxpayers or um, child tax credit payers, because Congress is, uh, the IRS is holding on to those refunds longer now. Now, a virtual currency question on this year's tax form is new. If you sell or exchange virtual currency, use it to pay for goods or services, or hold it as an investment, you could have a tax liability as a result. So it should come as no surprise that the IRS wants to know about virtual currency transactions. The IRS says taxpayers who make transactions involving virtual currency will need to file a special schedule for 2019 with their tax return. And Lori and Bo, don't forget if you send your return electronically, you're going to get your refund a lot faster than sending it by snail mail. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. Thank you, Don. Don, thank you, sir. Hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wat.com. You can also call a six on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.